Good afternoon to everybody. Good to see everybody. And uh, hard to screw last weekend up, so happy to uh, talk about that. More importantly, I thought we had a good bye week, a productive bye week. It was, um, I think, went pretty smoothly. And uh, needless to say, we turned our attention now to the, the challenge that awaits us in Columbus this weekend. So basically, you know, I'll say three things about Ohio State, three facts. Uh, first and foremost, they've got really good players, all three phases. Um, you know, and I think are really deserving of their ranking, certainly. Um, they've had great production in all three phases, and, and they're really well coached in all three phases. So uh, it's kind of what you'd expect of a, a, a top-ranked team like that. Just uh, very, very impressive in all regards. And then on, fact, uh, on top of that fact is that we're playing a very hostile environment. Uh, you know, the Big Ten's full of a lot of tough venues to go to, and certainly Columbus uh, fits that bill. So. Um, yeah, you know, against that backdrop, uh, we have a big challenge in front of us right now. And the bottom line is this, you know, games get played on Saturdays, at least they used to now, Fridays as well. Uh, they get played on the game field. So it's really all about the players and what they do. And as we move forward here and kind of the message we've tried to convey to our team is that, uh, you know, it's all about our preparation and it's all about, you know, the way we practice and uh, put study in on film, that type of thing. That's what's going to lead to good execution, and that's what it takes to be the team uh, of this caliber. So, you know, basically, it's it's really dependent on how we prepare right now this week, and that's where our focus is as we move forward. I think we all have a good, uh, you know, good grasp for what's in front of us there. So, uh, finish our preparation. Make sure we go in there with the right mindset, and know that it's going to be, you know, quite a challenge for us. And that's kind of it in a nutshell right now where we're at as a football team. Uh, captains remain the same. You've got Jay Higgins and Quinn Schulte defensively, and then uh, Luke Lachey and uh, Cade McNamara offensively will be captains going, uh, going on for the toss. And then our kid captain this week, I know we're on the road, but we'll have a kid captain. That's uh, 16 year old uh, Hayden Ulrich, and uh, she's a young lady who at age seven was diagnosed with uh, a rare form of leukemia and underwent uh, treatment over at the uh, University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. And, Happy to say uh, right now she's doing outstanding. 16 year old doing really well. Uh, outstanding student, uh, aspires to be a nurse. I guess she's uh, very involved in show choir. Uh, gets straight A's and uh, on top of that is taking classes at Kirkwood for her nursing degree. So she's uh, just a tremendous young lady and I'm um, told was named after Hayden Fry as well. Uh, unlike Hayden Large, uh, she was named after Coach Fry. So uh, no big surprise, but uh, we'll be thinking about her this weekend.